Hi, I'm Madeline, and I'm that crazy girl from your TikTok for you page or your Instagram feed making generative AI pictures of like fake boyfriends or me in the hospital or chickens on airplanes. I'm glad you like them. And I'm especially glad you like them so much that you keep emailing me and commenting and sliding into my DMs asking me to Photoshop stuff for you. I don't really think it's my place to involve myself in your psychotic agenda, but I can show you how I do mine. Here's a tutorial. We're starting in Adobe Photoshop. I'm still using the beta version because there are different features that keep coming out that I like to play with, but the generative AI feature is now implemented in the Photoshop standard program. We're starting with this selfie, but before I get into the nitty gritty details, I want to expand this image just to give me a little more of a canvas to work with. Um, I'm using this crop tool and pulling out the edges and then we will just click generate and this is going to fill in all of this blank space with what the AI predicts. There we go. So again, we still have three different options. One, two. What I'm searching for is what will I be able to use best to make this look like a hospital bed? Also, which is the most realistic? I kind of like this one um, just because it gives me enough couch to create a bed. And I think the arm looks pretty realistic. So let's start by grabbing the lasso tool. Let's start with the hospital gown. So I'm just selecting my whole sweatshirt and anywhere a hospital gown would be. We don't want this thumbs up to be changed. So I'm going to deselect my hand. We'll just go down into generative fill, type in hospital gown and click generate. It's gonna take sometimes a minute, sometimes faster to generate these options and we'll just see what they come up with. Okay, so already it thinks I'm a doctor, so it gave me scrubs. These don't look bad though. Ooh, is that a pregnancy test? <laughs> the, pinks, the pink scrubs look the best, but it still doesn't look like a hospital gown. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna remove this stethoscope and then we can manipulate from here. So this is tedious work. It's not just fast, as fast as it looks. All right, so now let's go into the good stuff. I'm going to group together everything that we've made so far, duplicate it, pressing Control J, and then merge this down so it's just a flat image again. So we'll go to the copy. Let's select subject. It's going to guess where I am. Um, so now it selected a lot of the pillow. We'll go ahead and remove that. I like to use the magnetic lasso tool because it's easier. Invert selection and we'll say hospital bed. It's not looking too realistic, unfortunately. We'll reselect and do this again, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do just the bed to start. Hospital bed. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it's like I'm in the gurney that they're pushing down the hospital. Okay, I like this. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, hospital. Okay, not bad. Nice. For now, let's add a blanket. Great. <laughs> that looks good. Let's add another hospital. Let's go doctor. Okay, some of these people are a little creepy. It's like uncanny valley, like they almost look right, but 
look at those hands and the faces are all off. Once in a while, it will generate like a perfect human being. And that's when it gets all creepy. I don't want to work with any of these. Uh, let's try one more time. Let's hold off for now. This hair is too perfect for somebody who is sick in the hospital. Humble brag. Oh, that is nice and greasy. Always bad. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes I have a hard time deciphering like what is the most realistic. That's the question. Um, that one probably is, but the others are like worse. Okay, let's do let's do a little more. That looks okay. Um, I'm looking a little too healthy. So the hard part is I kind of want to make myself look more like pale, and like chapped lips and stuff. But it's pretty difficult to try to do sometimes because it'll generate entirely new lips. So what I'm going to try to do is use the magic wand and we'll make it a lot less tolerant um, to try to select like parts of my lips. So then instead of like generating whole new lips, it just has like the color that it wants to change. So that kind of worked, kind of. So now let's get into some real just like Photoshopping old school. So I'm selecting my lips. And then I'm going to use command J just to duplicate just the lips. So then now when I go to adjustments, hue saturation, I can make them a little lighter, decrease the saturation, makes me look more sickly. Great. <laughs> so now we're going to do the same thing with my skin. And this is much more difficult because skin is, you know, makes up my whole body. So <laughs> sometimes just like lowering the it's just hard to make myself look pale sometimes. Let's add image adjustments, and I like to go to hue and saturation so that I can decrease the saturation. Always makes you look a little more sick and lightness. Let's remove these eyelashes. Just but we're gonna try to do some under eye circles dry bags. I always do this and it's really, really hard. So I'm going to do a nine point feather. And I believe this is where my under eyes would turn purple. I'm selecting my whole eye. So then when I go and remove my eye, it won't be feathered. So now let's turn that feather down to zero and go along that bottom edge of my eye. that we're not changing the hue of my eyeballs. Okay, copying this image adjustments, hue saturation. <laughs> there we can go a little more purple. And maybe like, let's do slightly purple and it's kind of dark. <laughs> That's gruesome. Okay, I'm into it though. Darker? It's pretty bad. Cool. Great. Now that I look sick as a dog, <laughs> let's do like IV and IV. Ooh. 
IV drip. I already hate this. Let's see. I'm scared. Okay, that's not too bad. Great. Okay, that looks kind of good. This one works for me. Let's remove these weird letters. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for doctor with stethoscope. I'm scared. You scared? Doctor with stethoscope. Yeah, how the heck you spell it? Stethoscope. Nope. Kind of. That hand doesn't look bad. Okay. We're going to try this. So you can go over to this mask and click subtract from mask. And that is going to get rid of the parts that you don't want to keep. So it's just going to go to whatever the layer underneath was. And a lot of this is pretty messy looking. So I'm just going to keep that hand and then we can generate something off of that hand. Since we're erasing most of that. Cool. So I feel like now that we know this hand doesn't look too bad, I can go in and reselect this portion of the image and put a doctor in there. Doctor. What do we think? We like this because it kind of looks like maybe it's a hot guy. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and remove because there's something there's something strange going on with this body. So let's um, we'll keep that arm, and we will regenerate a doctor. Doctor. This is a doctor again. It's just a lot of repetitive trying again and again and again. And it's going to spit out something different every single time. So you can't get too frustrated with what it comes up with. Um, but it's a lot of this. No, I didn't like these. Let's go back. Uh, I like this. I just want the outfit to be a different color. What if I... Let's duplicate it again. Merge layers. Let's see what if I can change the color of this shirt. So then when the AI generates, it'll generate in like blue. I'm so annoyed right now. Okay. We're doing it again. This is why it is not as easy as people think. And you can't be that scared of AI because it's pretty freaking annoying sometimes. All right. I like this guy. I like it. I think that we actually expand this. Let's give him a face. Please be hot. Oh. <laughs> oh, yikes. Creepy. Okay, I like it. He looks young, but he has a hump. Hot man. Okay, a little baby. Nice. I love a doctor in sunglasses. <laughs> Do. He has a wonderful hair. Let's get rid of this hump. Let's figure out how to make this body more natural. Handsome doctor. Okay, this. Yes. He's like crawling into my bed. <laughs> this, uh, this stance is like weird. So let's see how we can 
and fix it. We're going to lose the hand. We just are. Doctor. Okay. Okay. He seems huge, right? It's more of like a normal sized human, I think. God, the color is so weird. Okay, let's try this again. Hospital. Now I almost want to bring the color back into my face since he's so like neon ish. Nice. Oh my God, what is in his hand? <gasps> yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's fix that. Okay, so we're going strong we can finish this off so I'm going to subtract from mask this guy and get our favorite doctor back in because we love him I'm gonna speed through this for you okay <laughs> And now we are finally done. <laughs> what do you think? It was a tough one, but like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Any questions you have? Bye.